1954, Mr. Jimmy Lee came here. He chose that block of land. He paid $125 an acre for it. We took possession of it in 55. That was an exorbitant price at the time. And they asked him, did he ever think he'd ever get it paid for? And he said, well, I hope so. So he farmed under the name of Hope So Farms from 55 to 77. My daddy bought the farm in 77 and took possession of it in 78. And then my, my father got sick and I came over here and took over. So I renamed the name and brought re resurrected. That's how I hope so got his name. Corn and soybeans down there, that's all we grow. Every year is different. This is my 55th crop and every year is different. So every day is different, basically. Labor is different, weather is different, mother nature is different. To build it back up, that's the reason we've gone with the rotation of half and half. You know, the corn builds it back up more than soybeans. And of course, crop rotation helps you. And I, I would just about done anything to get away from those pivots. I mean, they, they were good pivots at the time, but my dad bought the first one in 81, so, and we didn't start, you know, doing this until 12. I would have done most anything to get out of the pivot business. They were done for supplemental irrigation, couldn't get enough water on the corn to do what it was supposed to do. Crops that I was growing, they weren't, and like I say, they, they were for supplemental irrigation. And I, I was on the NRCS committee and you know, you would see the programs that would come out and you could see what you could sign up for and what you could get and what those advantages would be for you. We're making it easier on ourselves, making it more efficient, more productive, but it's also helping the environment, helping you know, the wildlife as we saw you know, roaming around the Lee Place. So. To be recognized, it's, uh, it's a great honor, especially. I didn't really realize what I was doing as much as I've probably done. It just made things easier for me to do or to work or to water or get around with all the pads and the pipes and whatever and control everything, you know, but uh, in the long run, it was good for the environment. He loves to leave his mark on the land. When I came back to farm, I didn't want his legacy to die with him when that time came, so I wanted to preserve what he had done. I'll never look at this place like I own it, but it's, it's our job to kind of maintain it and make it better and give my kids, my grandkids, the same opportunity that I had, that he had. We've always tried to be stewards of the land, make improvements along the way, and, and he's dedicated his life to it.